This video will demonstrate the mid-side or MS recording technique. The mid-side or MS technique uses two microphones placed as close together as possible. One mic faces straight ahead at your sound source and the other faces 90 degrees to the left. The sideways facing mic, the side in mid-side, must be a figure eight or bi-directional mic. The mic facing straight ahead, the mid in mid-side, is usually a cardioid but can be another figure eight or an omnidirectional. The two mics are recorded on separate tracks which are then matrixed into stereo. You do the matrixing on your digital audio workstation or analog mixer and the end result is a true stereo recording where you can adjust the stereo width after the fact. So you can record a piano in MS and make it wider or narrower in your mix or record a guitar amp in a live sounding room and decide later how much of the room versus the direct sound of the amp you want to hear. To understand this deceptively simple technique, you'll want to be sure you understand the microphone polar patterns involved. Here is a polar pattern chart of a figure eight or bi-directional microphone. A polar pattern chart tells you the sensitivity of a microphone for sounds arriving from any angle. At zero degrees, a figure eight has a sensitivity of one, meaning it will produce the loudest output signal for sound sources directly in front of the mic. If a sound comes from 45 degrees, the output will be only about 0.7 times as loud as if the sound came from directly in front of the mic. And if the sound comes from 90 degrees, the output of the mic will be zero, or silence. I have colored the front lobe of the figure eight blue and the rear lobe purple to indicate polarity. Figure eight mics reverse the polarity of signals arriving from the rear. If you record a sound from the front of the mic, positive air pressure will produce a positive output voltage. But the same positive pressure at the rear of the mic will produce a negative output voltage. If you duplicate an audio track in your digital audio workstation, reverse its polarity, and mix it back with the original, you will hear silence, as long as the faders and pan knobs on the two tracks are set the same. As you will soon see, mid-side recording depends on this effect. We are going to use a cardioid for the mid-mic. Cardioid mics pick up sound from the front and sides and reject sounds from the rear. Omnidirectional mics pick up sound from all directions. Neither of these patterns alter polarity. To record an acoustic guitar using the mid-side technique, point the mid-cardioid mic right at the guitar. Place a figure eight mic right above or below the mid-mic as close as possible. Point the figure eight mic sideways to the left. Record the two mics to separate mono tracks. Once you have recorded them, make a duplicate of the figure eight side track. Pan the original side track all the way to the left because the mic was pointing to the left. Pan the mid mic center because it was pointing center. Then pan the duplicate side track all the way to the right and reverse its polarity. In any digital audio workstation, you can easily invert or flip the polarity of a track with a plugin, but we will use a Pro Tools Audio Suite plugin to destructively invert this track so that you can see the result in the waveform. If you have an analog console, you might also find a polarity flip button on every channel. Set all three faders the same for now. What we have just done in Pro Tools is the matrixing. You are sending the side mic to the left, the mid mic to the left and right, and the reverse polarity side mic to the right. You should already hear stereo. This is where the magic comes in. The figure eight mic that you pointed left picks up sound from the left, but it also picks up reverse polarity sound from the right. So we will call this track left minus right to indicate the relative polarity. The duplicate side mic track has had its polarity flipped. So on this track, the sounds that arrived from the left of the side mic are in reverse polarity, and the sound that arrived from the right of the side mic are in positive polarity. We will call this track right minus left. The cardioid mic picked up sound from the left and the right without reversing polarity, so we will call the mid track left plus right. We panned the mid mic to the center, sending it to both the left and right outputs of our mixer. We also panned the unaltered side mic track to the left, 
So at the left output of our mixer, we have left plus right plus left minus right. So at the left output of your DAW, you have doubled the left and canceled out the right because of the way the polarities combine. At the right output, you added the mid mic to the polarity flipped side mic. So you have left plus right plus right minus left. So this time, the left cancels out and the right reinforces. The result is stereo. I'll pull up each component of the mix separately so you can hear. Here is the side mic by itself. Now we'll add the right mic before polarity inversion. And after polarity inversion. If you are listening to this on speakers, you might notice an unnaturally wide image that seems wider than the speakers themselves. Now here comes the mid mic to solidify the stereo image. If you pull the side faders up and down, you will hear the stereo image get wider and narrower. You can set the faders wherever you find the best stereo width for your project. Some DAWs come with an MS decoder plugin, so you can just record your two mics to a stereo track and matrix them with a simple plugin. And now, a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. 